Hi, and uh, welcome to the PTL Design Series interviews for the Newton Cycle. I'm Kenny Johnston from the OpenStack Innovation Center. I'm here with Jesse Pretorius from the OpenStack Ansible Project. Jesse, could you uh, introduce yourself and give, your, give a little bit of the, your background with OpenStack? Hi, I'm Jesse Pretorius. I'm the project team lead for OpenStack Ansible Project in the OpenStack Newton Cycle. Um, I work for Rackspace in the UK as a software developer and I've been working with OpenStack for around three years, I think. Great, can you tell us a little bit about OpenStack Ansible, what it does, who uses it? Um, OpenStack Ansible was created to deploy OpenStack for production environments um, and targets making sure that builds are repeatable, highly available, and that deployers can build directly from source. Uh, it has a variety of consumers, um, Rackspace being one of the, the largest consumers, um, but there are some others who are reflected in our, in our core contributor team. Awesome, yeah, and speaking of that kind of feedback between operators and core contributors, can you tell us a little bit about, um, in, during your Newton planning in Austin, how you guys incorporated user and operator feedback into what you're planning on working on during the Newton cycle? So most of our um, core contributors are actually operators. Um, so ahead of the ahead of the summit, we actually uh, chatted about what the needs were for the next cycle. Um, some of the big ones coming up were um, uh, adding Ubuntu 16.04 support and also adding Ansible 2.1 support, and that was made mainly just to provide the the transition into the newer technology that's been available. Um, we also held an open feedback session, which was broader for people who are just generally interested in the project or kind of following the, the, uh, the way the project's developing. And we got some good feedback from people who tried it, evaluated it um, around you know, improving that part of the process as well. Very cool. Um, can you give us a, some insight into what the top three priorities for OpenStack Ansible are during the Newton cycle? So while we did a heck of a lot of work in the last cycle to improve the documentation, uh, it's, it's turned out that the, the install guide is now a bit too much like a configuration reference guide. So one of the big um, moves we're trying to make in this cycle is to keep the details, but um, also provide a, a much simpler install flow for a new starter. Um, so that's one of the big things. Uh, the other two priorities are the, the new platform support for Ubuntu and uh, the update of Ansible to version 2.1. Great, that's awesome. So OpenStack as a whole across the projects have identified some core themes like uh, scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, and interoperability. I'm wondering if you could speak to how the work that the OpenStack Ansible team is doing during the Newton cycle um, maps to those themes. So being a deployment project, we've, um, we've been working pretty hard to get uh, the scalability, resiliency, and modularity uh, into the project over the last, uh, well, we've been working on this since Ice House. Um, so the project code base is quite mature already in that respect. Um, so for the focus for this cycle is much more around manageability in terms of the technology base. You know, it's adding the, the extra technology support, improving the documentation, and uh, as we do every cycle also, including new service technologies into the the integrated build that we provide. That's awesome, that's great to hear. So um, looking into your crystal ball for the Okada cycle, what would you, what themes would you see carrying forward into uh, that cycle and upcoming cycles? Um, I think manageability is still gonna be the biggest focus. Um, upgrades are a big perceived problem within the OpenStack um, stable. Uh, for us, upgrades are okay, but they could be better. Um, we have a fully managed upgrade already, um, but we'd like to do it a little differently. Um, so I think that's gonna be a continued development process. Um, we are also doing a little bit of work to get um, Red Hat platform support. Um, 
that seems to be taking shape. Um, if we don't finish it in this cycle, we hope to do it in the next. Awesome, that's really helpful. Well, thank you, Jesse, for taking the time to give us an, some insight into the Austin design uh, discussions and Newton and Okada releases for OpenStack Ansible. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Great, thank you.